Aisha. 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 What's on this one? What does it look like to you? And why are you not ready? Ready? Ready for what? Were you deaf when I was talking to you about this yesterday? That I'm leaving and I'm taking you with me. I don't remember that. So now you have amnesia. I'm gonna give you five minutes to go upstairs, get your stuff, and meet me outside. Mom, I'm not going. Excuse me? Say that again. Mom, I'm not going. I can't leave Dad here by himself. <laughs> Kid, unfortunately, this is not a decision for you to make. How much longer am I gonna continue with this? With what? With your father coming home drunk. He comes home drunk every single day. He yells at you, he yells at me. When we tell him to stop, he wants to put his hands on us. How much longer am I going to continue with this? Mom, he just needs some help. Yeah, like you don't know. I have tried every help that I know. I put him in AA meetings, he shows up drunk. Who does that? Listen, I'm done. I need you to get your stuff together and stop wasting my time. Aisha! Aisha! I'm getting ready to leave you. I don't have time for this.
Are you serious? I go to sleep last night and this is what you do? Drink more after you're already drunk? Oh, can you stop yelling? You're giving me a headache. And it's not me giving you the headaches. It's all this drinking you've been doing giving you headaches. Shower traffic. Forget making it to work on time. Mm, well, I was gonna make you something to eat. Nah, don't worry about that. But you barely eat. You drink more than you eat. Hey, stop that. Sorry. Don't you know I work at a restaurant? You may not know, but I eat all the time. I'm just trying to look out for you, Dad. Well, don't do that. I'm very capable of looking out for myself. Excuse me, I'm gonna be late. What do you want? Do I want? I've been looking for you everywhere. Why were you looking for me? Did somebody tell you I was missing? Did you seriously sleep in the car? I can sleep wherever I want. Mind your business. Get, get out the way. inside the house after you got home last night? 
Was it because you were too drunk to even realize you were home? Don't start this. Or was it just because you simply couldn't get out of the car and come inside the house? What is this nonsense? Why are you talking to me like we're the same age? Can you talk to your mom like that? Mom doesn't get drunk and make a mockery of herself. So, I get drunk and make a mockery of myself? Yes, you do, and you do it every day. It's getting out of hand, it's, become, it's becoming embarrassing. I'm an embarrassment to you. Do you even know what cirrhosis is? Cirrhosis is a liver condition that is caused in part by excessive drinking. I don't need you lecturing me about my liver. If I'm such an embarrassment to you, why didn't you leave when your mama left? Hmm? You should have left when your mom left. She left because of your constant drinking. And you should leave because of my constant drinking. You've been drinking since I was a little girl, Dad. And you are still a little girl. What did I even do to deserve this, Dad? Why did you bring me into this world if you cared about drinking more than your family? You know I'm trying to understand. You should stop trying to understand. You'll never know. Why do you drink so much? <laughs> I drink because it makes me happy. It makes you happy? Do you hear yourself? Yeah. I hear myself perfectly fine. Mom wanted me to go with her, but I said no. I said no because I didn't want you coming home drunk and leaving the door wide open at night. I said no because I didn't want you going to the back, falling in the pool, and having no way to communicate with anyone and help yourself. I said no because I care about you too much to let you be here by yourself, Dad. Well, maybe you should stop caring. I am perfectly capable of taking care of myself. What does family even mean to you? Mom left because being anywhere else other than here makes her happy. You drink excessively because it makes you happy. But what about me? What about me, Dad? I'm 16 years old and, I'm tr and I go to school trying to make good grades, but I can't because I'm always worried about you. What about me? My grades are declining because I can't concentrate. I don't have any friends anymore. You've become the, the, the discussion at my school. What about me? Yes, you can come in. Can we talk? Sure. Aisha, I have two things to say to you. First, I want to apologize for everything that I put you through. Second, I want you to know that I heard you loud and clear. Everything you said and everything you didn't say, misunderstood. I'm giving you my word today that I'm willing to make a change. And is this gonna be one of those changes that you don't go through with? No. No, no. I'm serious about quitting drinking. See, something happened to me yesterday. Seeing you break down and cry the way that you did really shattered my heart into pieces. And no father should ever see that child crying that way. And for that reason, I'm done partying and I'm done drinking. And how do you plan on doing that? You really want to know? Come on. Where are we going? Just follow me.
Can you help? Thank you.